What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Tom Aspinall versus Curtis Blades. This one is going off Saturday, and it's happening over in the UK in the O2 Arena. That stadium is going to be packed. It is going to go crazy over there, but let's get into it. Let's start with Tom Aspinall. Tom is coming in to this fight with confidence, momentum, and he's got the home field advantage because he's at home in England, right? The odds are already in his favor. But here's the thing about fights. As we all know, it doesn't matter how much it is in your favor. You still have to go in and execute and get the job done. And, and since his loss in 2016, Tom has done nothing but get the job done by either submission or knockout. He's big. He's got good speed, good agility for his size, especially. He's explosive. He's got good footwork, good timing. He's got some of the best head movement that I've seen in the UFC, especially for his weight division. He's calm and composed and doesn't really seem to be under duress, right? He's a fast starter, so you know he's going to come in and put on a show every time that he's in the octagon, and he's going to try to give you what we want to see as spectators enjoying the fight. In his last fight against Volkov, who was the number six fighter at the time, I think Tom was the number 11th fighter at the time, but he took Volkov apart as if Volkov was a rookie. He took him down the second time and submitted him to get the win in the first round. He's a tremendous talent and he has the potential to be a champion down the road in a heavyweight division that is already stacked. But he has that type of potential, right? He has that type of pedigree and skills that it takes to be a champion at that level. He's got the complete package and he does a lot of things really well. He controls the distance well. The way how he maneuvers on the inside and breaks to the outside and counters and strikes is very impressive. Now, with all that being said, all of the fights that he's been in has either ended in the first round or the second round, right? So the question is, what happens if he goes to the third round or the fourth round? Obviously, every fighter trains to go five rounds, even if they haven't stepped in the five round fight, but you train to go the complete distance. But the question is still there. Does this conditioning hold up? Does the power stay with him when he is tired? Does the speed and the quickness fade? I believe it will. I believe it would still be there, but we don't know because he hasn't been taken there yet. Now, Curtis Blades might be the guy to test that range and show us a different side of Tom Aspinall. This guy has been in the ring with friends of Singanu, Derek Lewis, Jerezina Rosenstrike, Chris Dawkins. He's had a very good resume and a lot of people on that list. He's not to be played with. He's a good patient striker. He sets up his strikes with more timing and precision and accuracy than just sheer aggression and tries to overpower you. He's got power in his hands, but he can also switch it up and take you down. He's not the fastest guy out there. He doesn't have the best head movement out, but he's not going to just stay in the pocket and let you get your shots off on him without him doing something to either get out of the way or change the levels. He's a thinker. With each movement, he's thinking of what is going to come next? What do I follow this up with? If I make this move, am I going to be in trouble? How do I get out of it? This is a guy who is always thinking about his next move. Against Dawkins, I was expecting takedowns from him, especially early in that fight. But it looked like he was trying to prove something by standing and striking whatever he was trying to prove or the statement that he was trying to make. I think he made that very clear. He took him out in the second round with a dangerous right hand. This guy's a dangerous fighter because you don't always know what you're going to get with Curtis Blades. As we saw in the last fight, as I said, I was expecting a takedown, but he said, I'm not doing that. We're going to fight upright. We're going to fight standing and I'm going to be the bigger puncher and I'm going to take you out. And he did that. So Tom Aspinall has to be on his A game. He has to keep his head on a swivel at all times because any shot can be the shot that takes you out and it's vice versa for Curtis Blades as well, too, because Tom Aspinall has that type of power, has that type of skills to take you out if you are not dialed in and focused every single second of the fight. So in this one, I'm going with Tom Aspinall to get the win by submission or KO. I think Aspinall was going to put the pressure on Blades early, and I think his quickness and speed will be a problem for him. 
But I think Aspinall, for the first time in his career, we see him go past the second round. We see him go into the third or the fourth. I think he is going to have to dig deep to get this win out because I do think Curtis Blades is going to test his will and test that mentality to see if he is going to rise up the ranks and fight the top four, top three guys who we know are dangerous in that division. But it's going to be a great fight. If you are already watching, if you are planning to watch this fight, I am hosting a free watch party on the Millions platform. Platform, I will attach the sign up sheet in the description below. It's absolutely free. If you're already going to watch that fight, then you might as well join me and let's talk about it together. But who do you think wins this fight? How do you see this one going? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount would be greatly appreciated and goes towards the growth of this channel. So with that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.